Let's move on now and take a look at the headlines in the newspapers. This, by the way, is TV3 New Day. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll start off with Daybreak. And it says, Bank of Ghana floors Sipton switch systems. And you'll see that story on page 8. Also, English cannot be the barrier for me. I taught for 21 years. And that is Honorable Howard Kumsin, who is the fisheries minister. Uh, I mean, you remember the whole buhaha with her vetting and, you know, how social media was awash with comments on how she was unable to express herself the way people expected and you know people expecting that for that reason and for the very little knowledge that she uh, displayed during her vetting about the fisheries ministry she would not go through as the minister well here she is today and she says that regardless I've been a teacher for 21 years English is not going to stop me cast for Okada riders uh, stands, but it will not be for free. This was after Franklin Kujo of Imani Africa asked that question that that promise about replacing, um, you know, the Okada for those commercial riders with cars by governments, which was one of the promises that they made during the 2020 elections. What is the update on that? And Razako Poku has taken on Franklin and says that it still stands, but it will not be for free. Let's move on to the Chronicle. And it says, Ajen Kotoku Onion sellers grateful to government, but that will be on uh, page I believe one or so or two uh, find it and read about it uh, they probably have a concern maybe the fact that the new place where they were moved to is not fully ready for them and which is the reason why we're told that some of them are attempting to come back to um, you know the other markets where they were cleared that market by the way has now been cleared and we're told that it's going to be used for agenda 111 so one of the hospitals will be built there Chobba operator sees Pokwasi interchange the update on that is that the woman and her 61 year old father were arrested they have been released on bail and we're told that they have to uh, make appearances at the police station uh, almost every day so we'll give you some more updates on that Afeku must accounts for 200,000 Ghana cities marine drive cash says in St. Paramount chief and elders and fisheries and aquaculture play significant role in job creation according to the chief of staff uh, Honorable Frema Opari and uh, let's move on to the daily guide okay the new crusading guide says Bank of Ghana wins big against Sipton switch systems and Baumia NPP promised high purchase policy for Okada riders not free cars that's according to Raza Kojo Opoku Tema shipyard boss under fire as workers demand his expulsion an MPP is protecting the public pairs. NPP MP reveals urges OSP to retrieve stolen funds from former government officials. Daily Guide. Um, and it says a Bissim cannibal case. Tools, intestines found on farm. Very, very disturbing. And the man who's alleged to have perpetrated that act is on the front page as well. He said to be a young footballer who was, the fa uh, you know, a friend of the family as well. Puni ruling bad in law, AG to SCN. $36 million meters fraud uh, lands on special prosecutor's desk. And Bank of Ghana floors, Sipton switch at London arbitration. Now, the Ghanaian Times, it says that Ghana, home of business investment in Africa. That's that's according to President Ekufuado as he's on a visit to Germany upon the request of um, Angela, Angela Merkel, by the way. And President uh, was speaking to the investors in Germany. We'll deal with misguided separatists in Volta and OT regions. Attorney General goes to Supreme Court seeking review of decision on Oponi. And two NDC MPs petition Shraj over killings during the 2020 general elections. Mr. Adam Buna has been sharing his two cents on that. And he says that just because Shraj is not fully uh, equipped and financed, he doesn't think that they would be able to go through with this investigation as quickly as possible, of course, based on precedence. We'll find out more about this as we move on. Now, um, the business finder says 25.4 million Ghana cities stolen from financial institutions in 2020. 56% of reported fraud cases involved the staff, according to Bank of Ghana. And Bank of Ghana also still in the news, wins arbitration and cancelled 4.6 billion Ghana cities Sipton switch uh, contract and Ghana can still borrow from us according to the IMF. Now to the business and financial times. ShopRite rejects Momo payments despite Bank of Ghana's cashless drive. That's on page two. UCC abandons 79 million Ghana cities worth of IGF funded project and Bank of Ghana wins arbitration against Sipton switch tribunal. Dismisses all claims and orders Sipton to pay cost. Now also Bank of Ghana upbeat on inflation outlook despite fiscal risk. And finally the the Daily Graphic says Abyssin murder, victims' body parts exhumed. Police also begin prosecution as camera captures 252 
offenders are on the roads and Pokwas Interchange chop bar operators are arrested us on page 20. SOE's governor CEO bought positions to go public and that's according to the director general of SIGA uh, Asabi, Mr. Samwa Boating and he says that uh, moving forward they're going to make it transparent enough for people who are qualified for the positions of CEO and members of the board, um, you know, of the various institutions to apply and they will shortlist them and that is how they're going to select these people who are right for the job. Is that even going to be possible moving forward? Uh, we do hope so, but those are the headlines for today. Joining us in the studio this morning, George AEC is the National Communications Director for NADMO and Mohammed Abdul Aziz is a former MP for Mion. He speaks for the NDC. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Uh, very, very dark days. I mean, this week, especially looking at what happened in Abyssin and, you know, the follow up of that story as well. I don't know how you feel about this. I'll start off with you, Mohammed. It's a very sad uh, development. Um, the crime is relatively alien to the Ghana society, mm. you know. Uh, murders in such a fashion, and uh, they seem to be an emerging market for human uh, 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 body parts, mm. and that is worrying. Um, some few years back, one would not have imagined that Ghana would be recording such uh, um, crimes. We can only urge government to uh, deal with that through the law and the law uh, uh, enforcement agencies. You mm. can't just imagine that um, a young man would have human bodies in his fridge, in his, in his room, and um, it is worrying. Hmm. Now we have been told that they have found some offal of the, of the, of the murdered uh, victims uh, yeah. on a farm land. Cocoa farm, yeah. Cocoa farm uh, land, that is regrettable. Um, we must be worried. If you even look at the story um, in Kaswa recently where the 16 and the 18 uh, year uh, um, old boys mm -hmm. killed the uh, a 12 year old um, um, boy. Yeah. In the course of the proceedings in court, these two boys also mentioned that earlier on they had killed, killed a, a pregnant, pregnant woman. One. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, you just can't imagine what is happening to uh, the young people in this country. But um, several causes have been uh, linked to what we are, we are witnessing today. And um, the issue of uh, Rituals, rit mm. ritual killings, you know, the, 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 the phenomenon of trying to get rich overnight, you mm -hmm. know, people want to get rich overnight and so they are resorting to these um, um, spiritual uh, ways of, of, of making money and they are being asked to bring body parts. Mm. And so even the, the, the uh, fetish priests who are engaged in this must also be our, our target. Um, we must also be interested in the content of media houses. Because you see, Bella, for very prominent, well-established media houses like your network mm. and uh, some other few uh, 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 networks, at least we can vouch for your content. But trust me, I'm sure in Ghana we have over 100 television stations. And right after 9 p.m., if you see the kind of things they churn out, the content that they show, you know, you see these people who claim to be uh, 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 money uh, doublers. You know, some of them will call themselves as malams. I'm a Muslim, and the meaning of a malam is, is a teacher. Mm. What they are doing is on Islamic. Sometimes they even send you some uh, WhatsApp uh, invites, you know, claiming to have some spiritual powers to uh, get to reach overnight. And so yeah. we must be interested in, the, in, in developing a broadcasting law in Ghana that would regulate the content of media houses. Mm. You just can't show anything. You see, because of the fact that the media houses are virtually scrambling for revenue to be able to survive, these relatively unknown TV stations would do anything just to make their money, mm -hmm. just to pay their bills. And so they allow their airtime to be used for such uh, 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 programs. And I think that uh, the Minister of Information must be working towards a broadcasting law mm. that will be able to deal with the content of um, media houses. That is important. As a country, we must also be able to create jobs for our, our young people. You see, when we, we live in a country where youth unemployment is on the increase, mm. you know, they say the devil finds a way for idle. Uh, idle hands. And so uh, we must be working towards finding sustainable jobs jobs that would, 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 would give decent incomes to our young people. Mm. That is important. 
And um, the last but the, not the least, has to do with enforcement of our laws. With CID and what they do, the homicide department of the CID, Bella, once a crime is, 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 is committed mm -hmm. and the victim leaves the scene, it becomes a very difficult task for them to be able to unravel the, the circumstances. Yeah. A very clear example I will refer you to would be the, the, the murder of the late uh, M MP for uh, Buakwa, right? Mm. J.B. Dankwa. Mm -hmm. you, you just can't imagine. A prominent Ghanaian killed in his, in, his, in, his, in his bedroom. A young boy was arrested. He has admitted to the crime. He has mentioned names for well over five to six years. We are still dealing with this matter, a matter that sometimes I am unable to uh, uh, wrap my head over some of these things. Someone has owned up. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's no doubt about the fact that uh, that young man calls a uh, sexy don, right? Mm -hmm. Has admitted to the crime. He has mentioned names, people who engage him. And still that matter, uh, we, can't dispose, we can't dispose of that matter. And so I'm worried about the attitude of the, of, the, of, the, of the Ghana police, especially the CID department and the homicide department that operates under the CID. Mm -hmm. Remember when we had the story of the Takwadi girls, the yeah. three girls that were, 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 were kidnapped? Missing and eventually, you yeah. remember um, the then CID boss, Madame Etua, Etua I right, yes. had come out to tell all of us that those girls had been found and that they were doing well, mm -hmm. and that very soon they were going to reunite them with their families. It turned out not to be true. This was a CID boss, and so the unprofessional partisan conduct of some of the senior police officers uh, uh, is, is, is equally worrying. How, how do you describe that as partisan conduct? I mean, yes, she did give us the wrong lead, but how do we describe that as partisan? You see, Bella, when, when a CID boss mm, mm -hmm. wants to give some credibility wants to prove the fact that yes the system is the system is working uh these are some of the of the of the remarks that they will make look that statement alone was enough to get a sat from that position mm. but we made those calls and that was never heeded to and so i'm saying that the conduct of uh, some of the senior policemen and i've just cited the example of the then cid boss i think she's now in charge of welfare so i'm not mm. too sure mm. Um, is, 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 is worrying. So it's a, a three-legged issue. Government must, must be working towards youth unemployment to resolve the issue of the youth unemployment. Mm. The Government security, is working towards it. I mean, during the, the media budget review, they said they were going to create some one million jobs for the youth. They were uh, you know, forming the youth bank as well <laughs> to provide some funds for young people, young entrepreneurs. Bella, how many issues has this government raised that they have not been able to fulfill? You know, in the last five years of this uh, government, have they been able to create one million jobs? And how sure are you that they can even be able to, pro to provide 10% of what they are promising to do? It's just a political uh, uh, a rhetoric. I will not. I will the not media you, budget was full of. I will not urge you to. Put it was any, concentrated on young people I will and not, young entrepreneurs. I will, I will discourage because you from, they recognized the void in that sector. I would, and said we're going I would, to create jobs I would for discourage them. you from putting any premium on that political uh, statement. We as a party, recently President Mahama on his thank you tour has indicated that the NDC is willing to sit with a government uh, 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 on a table mm. to discuss the issue of uh, youth unemployment because we think that it is um, a threat to our national security. Um, it is important that we approach that matter in a non-partisan manner. You see, if to have President Mahama, the leader of the NDC, willing to sit with government to deal with an issue that we think that is, is worrying, should tell you the character of President Mahama and the NGC. Remember when we did the century mm. and the invitation was extended to our colleagues when we were in, 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 in government. Mm. An invitation was extended to our colleagues on the other side to come join us. And they, they turned it down. This time we are even proposing that. And so we recognize the need to um, create sustainable jobs. We are not talking about um, temporal jobs such as um, uh, NAPCO, uh, 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 youth employment, that I would describe as an extended national service. You know, we are talking of long-lasting jobs mm. that would uh, attract decent income for decent uh, lives. Where decent income is how much? Oh, that is relative, but we and I know that um, if national service personnel are paid 550 Ghana cities, for instance, and you recruit someone after school under NAPCO, and you pay the person 
somewhere in the neighborhood of 600, 700 Ghana cities, knowing the very cost of living in Ghana today, uh, and the person will be on the job for some two, three years. Obviously, that is not a decent income. That is not a long-lasting job. And so we must be moving towards, and look, we think that the sustainable way to create um, jobs in this country is to empower the private sector, is to create the enabling environment, is to provide infrastructure that the private sector can take advantage of to create those jobs. You know, government cannot be the largest uh, employer. Mm. It must be the private sector. And that is why we prioritize a lot of infrastructure because even in the course of the construction, hands are engaged. Okay. Um, uh, masons, carpenters, and what have you. And then right after the phase of the, of the construction, uh, people are recruited to work in those uh, institutions. And so we are willing to support government in that direction. But to deal with some of these crimes that we just talked about, either there are ritual killings, there are contract killings. Even, even before you go there, because I remember that there was a point when the NPP had said that they had created some two million jobs, and that was from <laughs> the youth organizer. Then the NDC youth organizer also came out and said that we had also created some one million jobs. There was a debate about how many jobs had been created no, they, and whether they were sustainable or not. They, what kind of sustainable jobs were they, created they, under they, the NDC? The one million moving jobs. Moving forward, if you want to, you know, work in collaboration with the ruling party, what kind of sustainable jobs are you looking at? The one million job that we talked about was contained in our 2020 manifesto, and we gave a blueprint. We, we, there was um, uh, um, um, a roadmap. I mean, when, if, if, if you read our, our, our manifesto, mm -hmm. we gave a detailed account of how we're going to create that one million uh, um, um, No, jobs. even before that, the, well, the well, NDC had said that, even though the NPP is saying that they had created see, two million and, jobs, and they are, had created a and, million jobs before. And, and you are just asking me, how sustainable those jobs would be. I've just told you that. No, Look, I'm asking first of all, how sustainable were those jobs that were created in the past as against working with government to create sustainable jobs now? Well, that's where the difference comes because what I remember about the one million jobs was what was contained in our manifesto. We are talking of one million jobs that had been created. Mm -hmm. I'm unable to speak to that because what okay. I'm aware is the one million jobs that we had uh, promised to create uh, uh, in our 2020 uh, manifesto. When we were in government, uh, Abella, mm. for every year, we did about 4 to 5% uh, uh, capital expenditure. Uh, the investment that we did in respect mm. of uh, infrastructure, capital expenditure to, 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 to broaden the economy was about 4 to 5%. Uh, 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 percent. I have just told you mm -hmm. that even in the course of the construction itself, Ghanaian hands are involved because you will need machines to do the construction, you will need plumbers, you will need carpenters and what have you. And all the hospitals that we, 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 we established, that mm -hmm. we constructed, they obviously recruited nurses and doctors, uh, procurement officers and, and stuff like that. That's how you create sustainable jobs within the public sector. And I was also saying that, make the conditions for the private sector to thrive. Mm -hmm. When you do that, at least people would have some work to do. But I've just given you an example and uh, both parties relatively have been uh, uh, some way, somehow, uh, guilty, but not at the same level. NAPCO, youth employment, mm. these are not sustainable jobs. You know, these are some knee-jerk reactions, very temporal reactions. And we must move beyond that. If we want to deal with all these crimes, either you are talking of cyber crime, uh, cyber crime you are talking about ritual murders, contract killings, um, um, I'm robbery mm. or what have you, Bella, we must be interested in putting the energies of the young people to use. Okay. That is important okay. and that we must do. And so these recent killings that we have, I have said that, look, some of them relates to um, armed robbery. And when it's armed robbery, what they do is that when they go and attack the victim, they would only kill the victim if he resists for them to, to rob. Mm. If you, are, you allow them to just to pick what they want, m in most instances, the person is paid. They just take because the, the intention is to rob. Now we also have a resemblance of what you call contract killings. Mm. The case of the of the senior officer at the at Gapoha, mm. uh, Professor Bene is another one. These are clear examples of uh, contract killings where the person is targeted. But what we have witnessed in recent past is clearly Amen. ritual killings okay. that we must deal with. Okay. That one we must deal with it with our television content and radio content. Mm. We must, the police uh, 
uh, CID must be strengthened. You touched on that. All right. Jobs. All right. Let me bring George in. But that was Mohammed Abdul Aziz. He's a former MP for Mion, and he speaks for the NDC. George. Now, data from the Statistics Research and Monitoring Unit of the Criminal Investigation Department of the Ghana Police Service indicates that some 306 murder cases have been reported to the police from January 1 to, Jan to June 30 this year. Now, out of that, it says only one case has been closed out of these 306 cases. And it's an ending. Even yesterday, we're told that another um, you know, person was found to have been killed, even after this abyssin case that we're yet to resolve. And so then it begs the question, is the police service really up to task? Because if out of 306, only one case has been closed, where are we heading? Yeah, thank you, Bella. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning to Honorable. Uh, good morning to our viewers. Uh, because these days we have the presence of social media, uh, any small thing, uh, you, it's, it's, you know, it goes viral. Yeah. Okay, I've been a bass boy and I've seen that these things have been with us uh, for some time. You'll be at the backs and they'll bring somebody with a de decapitated head mm. and, you know, beating that he's killed that person and all that. We've, we've been seeing those things mm. when we're growing up. And so at uh, these days is because of the presence of social media. When it happens there, uh, it's taken and then put on social media mm -hmm. and then it goes viral. So people then get to know it and go. And two, uh, yes, the Criminal Investigations Department, they do uh, a lot of investigation work. Yeah, this is the way it's been. They take time to go uh, and find out, as Anabu said, when it happens and you're not there, you need a lot of things to, you know, lead you or give serve as pointers to uh, the, the culprit. Mm. And so uh, it's been like that. But it's not the best. That 300 plus, uh, we have only one. We brought the closure to only one. Mm -hmm. uh, we, it said that the wheel of justice grinds slowly, but it's ultimately going to get to uh, its destination. And so let's hope uh, we can. We've, we've seen cases in other jurisdictions where it's been over 20, 30 years before closure was brought to the matter. Mm -hmm. In fact, some people were even convicted and sentenced and then ultimately turn out they were not the mm. uh, culprits of, of the incident. So let's be thorough in trying to get to the bottom of the matter as far as these uh, how, murder how cases How does this engender trust in the police service? Because these people are saying we're scared. We're not sure who is next. And we're hoping that the police can, you know, rapidly resolve these cases. But if it's going to take this long for even one case, and we've all seen what happened with the Takrady girls, for example. See how many years it took before this case was finally closed. Yes. Are we going to see a repetition of that, even in this Abyssin case or any of the other cases? Bella, because six months Bella, and only one has been closed. Bella, would you rather the wrong people are picked and then uh, uh, convicted for a crime they know nothing about? Mm. No. They ought to be thorough. They ought to be meticulous in their investigations and then uh, get the right people. So, yes, it's not the best that for six months only one had a closure. Uh, but we, we should give them the time to be thorough in their investigation. We don't have forensic right units people. in every region. In fact, it's yes. only the headquarters yes. that we have that. Yes. And so even to you know, manage these cases, whatever evidence they collect, they have to come back to the head office yeah. and work on it. And so is that also not part of the reason why these processes are definitely, slow? Definitely, definitely. The processes are so because of some of these things. There are certain things uh, you refer to, you know, uh, superior authority mm. to uh, go through. There are certain uh, cases you cannot try them in some of the smaller courts, uh, maybe magistrate courts or circuit courts and other, you need to take mm. it to uh, uh, high courts and all that. So they are all part, and uh, high courts are not in all the districts across the country. Mm. I think mostly in the regional capitals and then some ex uh, few districts or so. So it's all part of the process. But, but in as much as we are doing, making the effort to get fast track courts and others uh, to bring uh, 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 adjudication to a rapid conclusion. Uh, let's, let's continue to encourage the CID uh, to do their work and do it thoroughly so mm. that we get the right culprits for offenses that have been committed. The Takarada girls case has not been closed officially yes. because the suspects are still in court, even yeah. though the police had come out to confirm that the yeah. DNA results indicated that they were actually those girls. Yeah. And so why are these suspects still in court? Why is this process still going on if we have enough evidence to prosecute them? 
The Honorable Jess alluded to uh, Sexy Dundon. Uh, he mm. has admitted to the crime, and yet the process is still ongoing. Okay, he's mentioned some people which I thought is just uh, uh, his mentioning the cock and bull stories uh, because the names he mentioned at the time he was arrested. If he, has, he had mentioned those names, it would have been better. Okay, mm. because those names were not people in government at the time. Okay, so, so does he it make any to, difference we, once we they believe, are in government? Yeah, yeah, no, no, yes. We believe, you know, somebody is coaching him. I, I believe the investigators and co believe in that. Okay, so they need to be careful as to uh, how they go about the, the, the whole thing. Mm. Because at the time when the repairer, the uh, phone repairer saw all those things and then gave the boy out. You know, <laughs> things happen. Mm. Why were we push the foot in and, and, and wait until this time, okay? But let the process go through. And, and the other issue that you referred to, the Takradi case, uh, at a point the guy admits and denies, admits and denies. Now it's been confirmed that the bodies of those people that were found were the girls, mm -hmm. okay? So maybe the process of the uh, investigation and then the trial mm. will have a different twist because mm. now there's evidence that the people are dead. But you the family it. wants a private DNA test to be Good. done. Good, Good. So with all those things, you need to respect yeah. the family. Mm. You get it. Yeah, they ought to is be Is that convinced. what is delaying all it, of this? It's going to be part. It's, it's definitely going to be part of the reasons why there are uh, delays in the trial process. Because mm. if you go to the judge, before a judge, once they've demanded that, you must get that and put it before the judge. Mm. If the family member is satisfied that indeed this uh, 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 DNA test is thorough and, and, and they are convinced, then of course mm. will be, uh, their fears will be allayed and they'll be uh, amenable to the process. Mm. Okay? So let's, let's do that for them. And, wow. and uh, mm. we should bring a closure to that as well. How are we managing these families? Because yesterday or about two days ago, the family of Kaka spoke. Uh, the late Kaka, and they are saying that even the wife of the late Kaka is not receiving any support from government. In fact, they are relying on the benevolence of the community members who have just one CD, two CDs, and that's what they are able to support her with. So she's not really receiving anything. At least in the Abyssin case, like this, we're told yesterday, we saw the Ghana Psychology Association there, and they said that they had, um, you know, selected some people to provide some um you know counseling for them the casual ritual murder is also another one of them and so how do we support these families it looks as if you know in the beginning everybody is on the family we're going to provide this a b c and d and then after a few weeks we all seem to forget these families and move on with our lives i don't know if there's a structured process procedure by the police uh, to support uh, families of victims of murder. I, I don't know about that. Mm. Uh, there's because sometimes it becomes a national issue on, in social media and the media picks it up and co. And so attention is focused on that. And then uh, some try to do certain things to support. Uh, but the psychological thing is a good thing that the IGP, and, and I'm happy the IGP himself went to the place. Mm. Okay. And so it, it puts the thing in the public radar. Uh, and if for any reason, somebody will want to sweep it under the carpet. It cannot be because IGP himself is aware he's tacked the PRO to put certain things out, mm. and the whole media in the country and outside are following these matters. Mm. You get it. And so uh, we need to uh, see how. And all the other cases, uh, the police, you know, is working on it. We we, we pray that they will be able to uh, bring them to finality. And these are the same issue I've say had. Uh, there are other things. They are bringing other twists to it. It's, you remember Idi Amin's uh, film. That's where we saw human heads in fridge, mm. okay, in the mm. freezer and go. So, but it's happening see, in it's real happening life now. With us. And the intestines were taking out and yes. buried somewhere and else. I hear, I hear That's gruesome. The janitors are also not there. I, I, I don't know how authentic that is, but it, it's also the case. Then it's pointing to issue of ritual murder and, and it goes against or flies in the face of the fact that I understand whether a chief or saying the guy has got mm. some mental challenges, mm. okay? If, if the janitors are taken away and, and you say he's got mental challenges, then it's a problem, okay? Mm. And so let's, let's allow the police to and give them all the support to be able to uh, uh, get to the bottom of this matter and then uh, let's make progress. It's unfortunate to have people and, and one of the parents of the murdered guy said the guy is a friend. Mm -hmm. A you very get close it. family Trusted. friend. Trusted and the guy was even helping them to look, to look for, for the, the boys. boys. 
You get it? So it's it's worrying. When and you're the person is fridge. <laughs> let's let's all be careful. And 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 I understand research is even showed most of the people who abuse young children are closer to the families. Mm. You get it. Mm. Uh, maybe Bright Up here and Co can give us uh, very authentic data on those things. And so we should be careful with the people around us uh, and, and 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 make the. Uh, uh, be, protect our own children. Okay. Again, mommy, uh, my brother spoke about NAPCO and co. If you have unemployed graduates at home for God knows how many years, okay, mm. and national security reports. You know why EA was created as a result of national security report mm. and President Kofo, they told President Kofo we are sitting on a time bomb if we don't do anything for the youth, mm -hmm. okay, and it was created. And NAPCO, we came and another mass of graduates we're lurking around, okay? Mm -hmm. And even nurses who have been trained professionally were at home between 2012 and 2016, okay? Mm -hmm. Nothing was being done for them. We needed to get them to work, okay? And so NAPCO is a stopgap measure. If I were at home, okay, as a graduate, uh, some even with master's degree, and, and, and if I want to travel from maybe uh, uh, Kaneshi to Adenta, I need to go see my father for transport. Mm. And go, you, you, do you know what parents say? We've wasted time on educating you in school, a graduate. Out of the thousands the embarrassing who, Nanko, okay? who were part of NAPCO, we were told at some point there was just about 11, was it 11 thousand, million or 11,000 of them thousand. that had gotten permanent yes. jobs? No, no, that is a process. What's happening to the rest? Because no, no. after three years, it ends. Yes, yes. And these same people are complaining that for some months now, they have not received their salaries. No, as for the salary issue, I would rather uh, have a job and, and there's hope that at the end of the month or two months, I'll be paid. And if, if it's if, not coming? If I come to Bella uh, and you know I'm working and I need 500 from you, you are likely to give lend me the money because you know I'll be paid. But if I'm I not, can't come to you every month. No, if no, no, my listen, salary has delayed listen, for three listen, months. Listen, listen. Would yes. you give me money it's every not, month no, no, if I came not, to it's you? It's not the best. But you know, once there's hope that he's gonna be paid at the end of maybe two months, three months, uh -huh. I'm likely to support the person. Okay? And when for three he gets months, it, four months? He gets it, he brings it back to me. If it's you not coming, it. if it's not this no, person has bills no, no, to pay, has I, a family to said, take care of. No, I've just said it's not the best, but it's better than zero that you don't even have any hope at all. What if okay? I don't have anyone then to ask again, <laughs> to support me? Yeah, it's and difficult. And there are people like yes. that. Yeah, we should, the best thing is to try as much as possible to have consistent payment for these young ones, okay? Mm -hmm. It's challenging. I did my national service in a remote area, okay? I went to teach in a remote area. Sometimes it's worrying when you are there and two months you've not gotten your salary, you get it. So mm. these are things that we need to see how we can uh, stop it. But it's, it's better, and this government is gradually, the one district, one factory agenda, the vehicle assembling plants, as we speak, according to the uh, trade minister, the Honorable John Alan Chematin, we have about 104 the one district, one factories in operation, op employing over 150,000 people. And, and, and one aspect that he tagged on, which is exciting, he's saying about 58 of such uh, companies and co were conscious, deliberate effort by government to put young people together as team to start uh, such factories, okay? Mm. Which is part of what was captured in the media budget review, okay? okay? That we are targeting to make about, create jobs for about one million people, and a, a portion of them, we're targeting to make them entrepreneurs. Okay. State-supported and driven creation of entrepreneurs. Let me ask that this is question. The way to go. Yesterday, I spoke to Dr. Ishmael Norman, and yeah. he was concerned about the kind of jobs that we're creating under one district, one factory, and all the others, because yeah. he says that a vehicle assembling plant, how many jobs would that create? As against knowing that every house has a ceiling fan, a standing fan, every house uses a pressing iron. And so why not create factories or set up factories that will train these young people to create some of these things? Because then everybody will buy it. But how many people can afford a car? You know, even in a year. Yeah. So if you're training people to be able to set up or assemble these, the parts of these cars, and you're not getting people to buy it, how are you creating the jobs? No, oh, by parts of cars, definitely you get people to begin to buy them. Uh, but it, he's right. It's a process. And it's a private sector driven, government supported. What it is is that Balamundi uh, wants what you just described. Mm -hmm. You have the, this thing to create that. You want to go into that sector. Government is going to support you to go there. 
And then we say there's an enclave that we think if you do that, uh, we'll have support for you. And, and we take tax rebate is given and then uh, a support, credit support is given to you. So if you go and the interest is about 20% or 21, which is high for this thing, uh, half of that is going to be absorbed by government. Okay. These are incentives that are given to you. And there's some of the raw materials you're going to import to do that. Uh, will waive the taxes for mm. you, okay? So these are things to encourage investors to get into those arenas, as you're saying, to okay. create opportunities for the young ones. So right. vehicles, and then we have the steel too. You know, people steel gather, factory. yes, those things. They go around to gather scraps and go. You take it to those places, they buy them, okay? okay? So opportunities are being created, and this government is very focused. Last one, Bella. Uh, President Mahama is one person I, I love and admire. Uh, he says he person. wants to work with your government. Look, look, <laughs> look. <laughs> let me tell well, you. Why he says you should come together yes, and work? No, no. I mean, you know, collaborate. But, but the context, it's, it's the not context. a. It's not, oh, not it's, work uh, for. Bella. I didn't say for the government. I said <laughs> no, with. No, the I understand. So to I understand collaborate. You. I understand you. One, it's not a genuine call, and two. How is it not genuine? Uh, let me tell you two. Uh, I don't see him coming to the table with anything because he was in power. We have the crunch of uh, unemployment. And he told Ghanaians he's not a magician. But he says that... He said he wasn't no, no. a magician to But solve he says that, he's coming back jobs. to correct the mistakes. <laughs> Good. He admits that those Good. are mistakes. Bella, Besides, Bella, no, Bella, what he Bella, said... Bella, you must this statement. Thank you. You must Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He must prove this statement. You must prove this statement. You see, that job freeze was as a result of IMF, right? Yes! You see, as a conditionality. Listen, after the same check, <laughs> Finn, uh -huh. what happened there? When he gathered people, now let's go put ideas together. When we put ideas together, what came out was that we lack policy credibility because we had consumed the meat to the bone. And so we needed to go to the IMF for policy credibility. Less than a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay? Less than a billion dollars. I don't know what I would be talking about accepting. One billion Not push. today. Mm. Not, you get it. So things that we're pushing monies into and willing to push money, something that was done for less than $5 million. They were going to do it for over $1 billion. Okay? So these are how you were spending money. So please, if you're coming to the Are you also table, not misappropriating money? We're what, borrowing where? so much money. Oh, no. And borrowing, misappropriating funds. Let me tell you something. You see, sometimes... Look at the AG's report and how much money time has time been yes. misappropriated. Yes. Oh, well, well, I was yeah. All time was ahead, given to you. Ahead, I kept ahead, quiet. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, but look at the AG's report. 12 yes. billion and over Ghana cities and, of money's Bella, lost Bella, from Bella, these institutions. Bella, you Bella. know what that money could have done for us? Yes, Bella. This is not the first time. It's been consistent. What are we doing as a people uh, to, to <laughs> keep that? Because I'm aware, he said, some time ago, under the former mm. president, complained over about nine point something billion is lost to the states, mm. okay? By structured institutions of government, okay? And then look at public accounts committee. When we go sit there and we do all the lamentations, what happens thereafter? Are people made to refund, surcharge and disallowance and all that, are they brought to bear? Is Ankuma and, and Occupy Ghana, you know, championed that. And then the former Auditor General gave a resemblance of trying mm. to uh, make it effective. Okay. Are we going to look, look at that? Because we just do that, we lament, they bring the Chief Executive. And unfortunately, most times, before Public Accounts Committee, they spend, the one who spent the money is not the one appearing before the Public Accounts mm. Committee. I asked myself, what, what's that? Well, we're told that staff are also involved. So this time around, we should no, bring them in. No, I was the, good. I was the officer then. I made the expenditure. And there's problem with it. Haul me before PAC. Mm. And when we finish and I'm not able to justify it, recommend me to the criminal investigations department to take it over. But if you take my successor, he comes there and says, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know. Mm. What, what, what progress are we making? But all these heads were supposed to have explained before the Auditor General <laughs> yes. uh, conference, yes. even before this report was yes. published as well. Yes, and you so, know, the queries are exactly. sent. Exactly. Yes. But when, when it's, all is done, and the conclusion given by the Auditor General, okay, is George AC, who was the officer, the spending mm -hmm. officer there, call George AC before PAC, and mm. let him go and answer. When it's not, you are not satisfied, make recommendations for him to either refund or you freeze uh, his account or some assets of his 
to pay for it. Mm. Okay, it's not necessarily custodial sentence and co. We put, we take over some of your assets to pay for that. Okay, uh, uh, Mohammed, let me bring you in so that you can respond to this because again, we're losing my, so much money. My my to so my many friends other seem to avenues. be taking a major in the minor areas. What we are dealing about is the perceived ritual matters that we are confronted with. Well, we, we've now, graduated now oh, to money that have been spent. Now, uh, now, when you talk about when you talk about <laughs> the case of uh, sexy sexy Don, is it sexy some uh, that sexy the Don gentleman? Don. Who was accused of uh, who's trial London. for the murder of the uh, late MP for Ebuakwa? Mm. And you claim that he's been coached. The man is in your custody. He's in police custody. He's been tried. Someone has access to him to coach him on what to do. When you are aware that that gentleman has publicly indicted your sitting member of parliament, you are aware. That's why you cannot proceed with that trial. That's why you cannot get to the conclusion of that matter. Because that gentleman... He's saying I'm majoring oh, in minors. And oh, he's focusing oh, on oh, minors. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, George. Please no, let, let, let him land. Oh, yes, oh, 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 oh. Let him land. It is please. still on the issue of unresolved murders. And I'm saying that <laughs> that gentleman mm, has mentioned your sitting member of parliament. And <laughs> indeed, in that video, <laughs> the gentleman also stated that your sitting president was supposed to be part of the meeting that contracted him to do that murder. That video... Is there for all of us to, 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 to watch. You are aware. That's why that matter is a standing trial for God knows how long. The conduct of this government in respect to some murders. Why? I'm actually, you know how your city member of parliament again, that same city member of parliament exposed him to danger and how he was killed. And that's why you are dragging your feet on that matter. On the issue of Kaka, what is the report? The report has been submitted to the Minister for Interior for more than a month now. Who knows the content of the report? And so when it comes to the issue of security and murders, this government is complicit. Right? I have given you some circumstantial evidence that will make you believe that we are complicit in some murders in this country. Now, when you talk about job creation, and you are talking about 104 factories. What happened to some of the murders that were also committed under your tenure? <laughs> you see? They Medes have all not been closed as well. Me, no. What Medes happened to your Medes Medes colleague, J.B. Dankwai? Oh, oh, oh. Was murdered. Bella. We have not closed those cases too. Bella, murders would, would, would occur Journalist under every regime. Killed. But the circumstances, I've just given you a case hmm, where a sitting member of parliament, tell me if you have anything that resembles, that, that, that has the features of what we saw under Amir where a sitting member of parliament would expose him to danger on live television program. And a few days after that, he was murdered. That never happened under the NDC. Sorry. It never happened. But I'm cases also telling were not resolved no. under the NDC. Oh, I mean, murder oh, is murder oh, anyway. Oh, 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 Whether it is a sitting member of parliament or it is just oh, a regular person that committed the murder, we all want closure. And so if Adela, you're holding him to it, when there is, should when you there also is, not there is, when there use the same clear, principles for yourself? When there's a clear evidence mm, of someone who is highly placed, someone within the circles of a government, contracting others to go and commit a murder, that becomes a different matter. Allegedly. Oh yes. I'm not a court. And I've just told you the issue of the of the of of, 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 of the of the of the late MP where the person standing trial has mentioned publicly your sitting member of parliament and even mentioned President Akufado then as a candidate. You are aware. That's why some of these issues you can only shy away from them. Now you are talking now about one hundred oh, oh, listen, listen. Huh? We are talking about 104, on, John, 104 <laughs> factories. Mr. see, just, just mention 10 out of that 104. Mm. You just don't go, look, Zoom Lion has a facility around the uh, Kolebu uh, Mortuary. You go and erect a billboard there and label it under 1D1F. Just mention 10 factories that you have established from scratch mm, to completion under 1D1F. You cannot. Okay. All right, you let, cannot. Bella, what happens today? Bella, Bella, let, let, Bella, let Cookie read messages. Hold on. Oh, yes. What this is a former MP. Hold on. Yes. What is a former MP? Let Cookie read some messages. Let Cookie read messages. In Parliament. Mention 10. This is a former MP. Mention 10. Mention 10. Let Cookie read messages, gentlemen, please. Just mention 10. All right. So let me get to some messages now. The, the first few messages have got to do with the Fufu Pounding situation okay. and then fix yourself and fix your your uh, fix the country. I may not be able to read all of them. It's too many messages out there, but let me just take a few. Uh, first
first one says this fufu pounding situation is happening here on the streets of Bolgatanga. Bella, I think this one is it's for me. you. Yeah, good morning, Johnny, and there. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, it's clear the way Bella is talking, she does not understand human behavior. Bella needs to understand mm -hmm. that human beings, including Bella herself, are naturally born corrupt since the days of Adam. The only checklist that will straighten man's attitude is stringent systems in place. The American, the Chinese, the European, and the like are more corrupt than the African. The only difference is the systems they have. If we don't stop asking people to fix their attitudes, but put pressure on the systems to work, Ghana will never develop. Kwame Ifumble sent in that one. Good morning, Johnny. I still Johnny. stand by mine. You, you still stand by You have it, to fix yeah. both anyway. <laughs> okay. Now, good morning, Johnny. You are right. The Fufu Joins is a clear indication of systemic failure. The law systems work when we make them do so. Ghanaians abroad are disciplined and you have to be. Basic problem is greed and a culture, religion, and um, the system allows it. Well, I'll skip to the next message. This one says, good morning, Johnny. You people are talking about littering. When you get to Burma camp or this training schools that you're talking about, the system... Um, there's a system to store the waste or the dustbins, but we don't see these ones in town. The government should provide dustbins at vantage points. Good morning, TV3. Johnny, the truth is the system and the fixing of attitude should go hand in hand. Assuming we all have the same bad attitude, how the system work? I'll skip to the next one. And it says, good morning, TV3. Is our justice system really functioning? It has been eight months since the killings during the December elections, but no justice has been done yet. And this one says, good morning to you, Bella, and your guests. The unacceptable behavior by these boys must be investigated and appropriate penalties must be meted out to them. Imams, pastors, and the traditional authorities must also be up and doing. Um, the assembly should be centered on tangible and acceptable means of ending money rituals. I'm sure that's what he meant. Good morning. I hate this propagandist and this indecisive. What? What? Okay. And you see, okay, that's what he's trying to say. For not flashing back a uh, little, how employment was frozen during their era. They have nothing to offer Ghanaians. They should give us a break. Okay, Bukresong is saying Ghanaians voted for the MPP because they claimed they are better managers of the economy. If things are bad today, AEC and his MPP guys should fix the mess and stop the blame game. And Bella, see, the messages are So weird. many of them. I'm sure it's all so about many. fix your attitude, fix My Ghana. Yeah. Okay. I'm so sorry I couldn't go through them, but maybe later on on the show. No. Okay, all right. Um, yeah. And Bella, just, just, no, just, no, just, no, just, 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 no, no, just, 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 the MP that he's mentioning, he's been a former member of parliament, mm -hmm. okay? When this guy was arrested, <laughs> they were in power, okay? And you were mentioning the current sitting president. He was a major candidate, okay? And you have a case that he's been mentioned in a meta case. And you didn't even put arrest oh, that him. That revolution came after mm -hmm. we left no, office. No, no, that's that what I'm telling you. The issue is that oh. they believe the guy no. is being coached to say what he's By saying. By who? Without basis. By who? Which is what he was asking. Because he's, he's in your custody. Who well, has access without to him? Without basis. And do you know at a point in time it was revealed that he had a phone in prison? Mm. Oh. Okay? So these are oh. issues that we need to go into. Okay? And let me back. What he's saying. Uh, let's get... The, the president is there. When you were in power, you could have crippled his ambition of becoming the president? No, okay. that inflation came after we left guy, office. You are aware. You know, I said, he's Bella, is, aware. Uh, is, it, is, it, is it really who is in power or not? I mean, <laughs> no, we still no, want these no, murder let cases let to be resolved anyway. Now, yes, that let me tell you came. something today. If there's something and the person implicates uh, uh, a high-ranking member of the opposition, Huh? And you've arrested somebody and said this is a part of the person. And you just ignore I'm the matter. I'm telling you, that revolution came after, after we left office. We are aware. Okay. So let, when that they arrested came this in guy, 2018. Eh? Mm -hmm. a lot of issues well, came out. Were we born in 2018? I'm a swally. I'm uh -huh. a swally. Yes, Look, I'm a swally. Let's tell the circumstances under which the MP made those things. He said the work that was being done by uh, Anas and Co. He had a problem with it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. He had a problem with it. And so he felt those who are tarnishing the image and others of the people that they are putting out, mm. he has a challenge. And so he was going to, you know, confront mm -hmm. them. 
Okay? But and he, he put, felt, uh -huh. yes, and he felt oh, these people, on hold, on, hold on, hold these on. These people, what they are doing to him was mm -hmm. a criminal conduct. But they put okay. his picture out. And, oh, and that's and endangered and him. Should be beaten. Yeah, listen, no, no listen. they put his picture no, out. That he no, be beaten. Listen, and listen. now he got murdered. It's and as that he be beaten. Uh, it's no, let me tell Give you us the full narration. No, no, wait, wait. Uh, why? Oh, please. Uh, please. Give us the full please, narration. Yes. Please hold on. I was full narration. myself. I, I, I have my little time. I've actually yes, gone beyond yes, my time. Yes, so please allow. Thank you. Bye. Yes. So mm -hmm. when I mm -hmm. have a problem with what you are doing, mm -hmm. will you put my picture out and ask uh, people to beat me? He says when he comes to his premises. No, when but he, he put his picture there. out there yes. and told people. No, no, I'll put it out there. No, I have a problem with you. I'll put your picture out there. I'll put your picture out there. No, he said, Uhuna, you're a chroma. Because Anas is supposed to be doing underground I say, whatever. I said, Uhuna, you're a chroma. Is that what he must cause the murder? Uh, no, I said, Uhuna, you're back the premises, sir. You should pity. His premises. That's what he's just trying to murder. He's just trying to murder. I get the tape. He's just trying to murder. It's unfortunate. He's just trying to murder. It's unfortunate. We are just trying to murder. We have not resolved that. We are just trying to murder. We are just trying to murder of Ahmed Sale. Investigation is on. We are just trying to murder of Ahmed Sale. Electoral violence and the people who lost their lives. We are just trying to murder of Ahmed Sale. We don't know what's happening with that as well. The 2020 elections and the violence that took place. Oh no no! Two MPs have gone to Shraj. It's a good thing. Yes, it's a good thing. But because you're saying that. A, a the police was have been investigating and it. your side. No, the, well, the police have been investigating. We have to go, by the way. Do not, my we friend have is to defending go. the yes. murder of Ahmed Saleh. We have to go. We have it. to go. Oh, Gentlemen, thank you so this? much. Mohamed Abdul Aziz is a former MP for Mion. And George Ayisi is a national communications director for NADMO.